Pope Francis arrives here in Washington. Many people very anxious for his arrival, but some groups are hoping that he's more than just words. One of the things I'd like to Pope to do is I'd like him to oust any bishop who's complicit in endangering children. Survivors Network of Those Abused by Priests, or SNAP, have a global mission and they hope the Pope can help. Maybe something all of us are doing today will protect one child and then it's all worth it. Most members have a personal experience that has led them to press the church to protect its community's children. I was, well, six in this picture. Uh, the priest that raped me for years was my best friend's uncle. In a perfect world for them, Pope Francis will address their concerns directly while in the States. How long are you willing to wait if it's your child at risk? Well, first of all, a lot of the victims can't even bring themselves to the church. They can't bring themselves to look at someone with a problem in college, and that's not their fault. They don't need a mass for healing. They need a mass exodus of bishops who have been not held accountable. Pope Francis is expected to meet privately with victims of sexual abuse during his stay here in the nation's capital, as did his predecessor, Pope Benedict, during his United States visit in 2008. Here in Washington for the BU News Service, I'm Christina Ernie.